All right, I'm going to talk about upright row execution and some of the cues that I use. So I'm using a spud strap with a couple handles attached here, but there's lots of different upright row variations. Not going to get too far in the weeds in that. Um, talk more execution. So with an upright row, uh, I cue it to actually drive the outside of the elbows high. So taking the outside of my elbow and driving it as high as I can, rather than just thinking about just just pulling weight. You know, you can th if you think about pulling weight, you're just gonna you're just gonna pull with a really internally rotated shoulder, which is you know okay. But we're trying to target the delts here, so I'm really trying to drive elbows high and ab adduct or abduct the shoulder here. Um, so I want to think about driving the outside of the elbows as high as I can. So I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm thinking about driving the elbow as high as I can, right? And then also on the way down, similar deal, you don't want to allow it to just internally rotate you right out of the gate. You want to kind of keep those elbows pointed upward as you pull down through the eccentric and feel it pull through your side delts. So rather than allowing it to really internally rotate you out of the gate, you pull high, and then and then allow it to kind of drag your elbows down with with these elbows pointing upward the same direction as the load. Um, so yeah, that's some of the things that I think about when doing upright rows.